In this video, I'm going to show you how to start your level design process and put your ideas on paper. Hello everyone, Adam here from Pixel Mystique and welcome to this first part of the tutorial series called First Person Level Design in Unity. In this video, we're going to start with the sketch and layout process. By the way, if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing to get game dev tips, tutorials, and inspiration. Click on that bell icon to ensure that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. It is due to their generosity that I'm able to make more games and more videos like this one. Before we start, let me break down some of the roles and terminologies that are involved when it comes to the creation of a level. Depending on the studio structure and size, level design might be a separate role from level artists. So there's game designers and they are different from level designers and those are also different from level artists. Game designers, they focus on creating the overall game premise and the core gameplay experience. So for example, they'll look into questions like what is the game about, what genre does it fall under, and what are the other game rules that create the overall experience. A level designer focuses on the functionality aspects of a level and how the level can serve its purpose to fit into the game premise and also support its core gameplay mechanics. So along the way, the level designer needs to think about, for example, if the player can climb a wall and do a double jump, does the player have enough room in the level and should he increase the ceiling height? At the same time, you should also make sure that the player don't fall off the level uh, accidentally. And of course, the next point is to make sure that this level fits the different plot points of the game story. Even if you're in a smaller team and you play both game design and level design roles, you will definitely be working more on the game design side first before you move on to level design. In contrast, level artists will focus more on the look and the feel of the level. So they'll create assets and objects to fill up the level such as rocks, trees, tables, and anything you can think of. And sometimes that may or may not include other finishing touches such as doing lighting, doing some shaders and so on and so forth. Let me know in the comment section below how the roles are broken down in your studio. If you're a solo developer, well, welcome to the club. So imagine we just got the brief from the game designer. And the game premise turns out to be that this game will be based on a first-person action game set in a post-apocalyptic world. Fallout, anyone? <laughs> the level that we are tasked to develop is an underground prison where the player needs to fight his way through to escape to the surface. Along the way, the player will scavenge items and supplies. So based on these information, we can then start to plan our level out. Okay, so on to some research. Basically, we're in a phase where we're exploring some ideas and getting inspiration from other source materials. For that, we have Google search to help us. You may or may not have concept artists on your team, uh, depending on your studio structure and the kind of roles that are available in your studio. So this is assuming that regardless of whether there's a concept artist or not, we'll do our own research and get our own ideas on the table. So let's do a simple Google search using keywords that might fit our game premise. So for example, for my end, I did some research on the word prison and then another one on underground prison, underground tunnels. So you can start seeing a pattern here similar to this, which is old subway. And then I go a bit crazy and go Guardians of the Galaxy because I remember there's a prison there in the first movie. And then lastly, I took a 
picture from The Dark Knight Rises, um, mostly the pit where Batman needs to climb out to escape. So looking back at the brief, the next step is to identify some key elements that you may find interesting throughout your research. So after narrowing it down, I have a few examples here, let's say on the prison side, obviously there are bars and also the small nature of the prison rooms, the, sorry, the small nature of the prison cells themselves. There's repetition of prison cells and I can see there's a pattern there. Another one is the underground prison. There's some use of brick and mortar and very thick columns and arches that may be included apart from the typical metal and iron to make up the prison bars. And then let's skip to the Guardian of the Galaxy. Um, the example here is I like this sort of concept art where they are in the middle of the prison and the layout of the prison is actually hexagonal so it's not squarish it's actually almost um, rounded and in the middle there's a centralized focus on this structure which is the guard tower another example is I think this image right here so you can see lights coming out you can see that the prison cells are surrounding the centralized structure so it becomes a focal point so that's one of the cool ideas I think I'll stick to when I'm sketching out my ideas and my layout for this prison once we've got the research process out of the way next step is to then sketch out the ideas and create our level layout this is going to be a draft so we can just focus on a few ideas and not worry about too much of the details just yet again we're not into the whole level art phase we're just level design and we can use something like photoshop or gimp as our drawing or sketching software you can even use pen and paper, whatever is comfortable and whatever is available to you. You'll want to focus more on the layout and using a bird's eye view or perhaps an isometric camera view. This is to see the overall look of the place and the main areas that we're focusing on. So you'll get an idea of where the orientation is, you'll have maybe some idea of where certain rooms are meant to be, uh, maybe a certain focal point like a statue in the middle you want to identify where those things are and you want to set your orientation right in the beginning. So when it comes to the sketches and the layout, this is meant to help us narrow down on a few key areas or a few key spaces that we will be creating and experimenting with. And it helps us eliminate the other information for now. The other thing to note is that the sketches that you do and the layout that you do are just drafts like I mentioned before and it's not meant for anyone else in your team so don't worry about how it looks don't worry about whether or not you're a good artist whether or not you're good at drawing it really doesn't matter you just need to draw a little bit of perspective it doesn't have to be accurate either another thing to note is that colors are not necessary but of course some shading will always be nice to have it gives some depth to your sketches and you can even use certain color information to highlight where are the brighter and darker areas in your level if necessary. Now that we've got a rough sketch of our level, in the next video we can start setting up the player character to make sure we can easily test the level as we block it out later. The next part of this tutorial should be ready in about 2 weeks from now. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more game dev tips, tutorials and inspiration. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.